Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a college management system using PHP is one of the widely used framework code generator. In this video I will discuss how to design a registration form with the help of that registration form admin can register to our college management system. Okay so now let us go to our editor and here are, this is our home page. In my last video, I had uh, discussed with you how to create header and footer uh, for our application. Okay, so now in this video, let us start building a registration form. Okay, so for that, I will just use a container first and then I will use an another div with a class of Jumbotron. Okay, and then I will create an H2 tag where I will type admin and co-admin login okay and here I will use style okay I will bring it to the center text align as center okay and I will give it a class of display 3 okay so all these classes are like jumbo drone display 3 and container all these classes are coming from bootstrap or css uh, framework okay and now i will use one more div with a class of my 4 okay we'll just refresh the page i can see it has created a section where you can see it's displaying admin and co-admin login page okay so now let's go back and enter and then let's create one more div with a class of row okay inside this we'll create one more div with a class of column lg4 okay and then we will just copy this okay inside this i will create two links okay php eco anchor okay and here create okay i will give a label as admin register okay and then to this i will give a class as btn primary okay, now save it okay and now i will just copy this and i will put it here as well and i will change it to admin login okay so here i have created two buttons when i refresh the page you'll see two buttons will get created okay so above this these two buttons i will create an hr okay it's below this create an hr okay uh that's enough okay so i have created two buttons one is for registering admin and one is for logging into the uh, logging into our dashboard by the admin okay so now so we need to set the route for each of these buttons okay so for, uh, for that I will, I will set the route as welcome slash admin register okay so here our controller is welcome controller here you can see inside the controller I have welcome controller see right now i don't have anything in this controller okay so here oh, i have set the route as uh, whenever user click on this admin register button a request should get sent to admin register function which will be present inside the welcome controller okay so here i will create a function as public function admin register okay so, registration 
okay now let's refresh and when i click on this admin register it will take me to admin controllers admin register function okay so admin register function gets executed and here you can see this is the text i had written inside this function okay so now we need to set the route for the second button as well so i'll just copy and i will paste it here and i will change it to login okay so i have not created login function yet so we will create later so now let's go to our welcome controller okay here we need to create a view this load view okay and we will call a register view okay so here here i have i'm calling a register view so we have to first create that view click right right click on view and then click on new file and then save it as register dot php okay now save it okay, and then need to copy the same headers and footer okay and then let me create an s3 tag admin registration okay now save it okay now let's refresh okay now you can see uh it's displaying admin registration page okay, this is admin register okay now before that let me just first create uh one more controller inside our core so let me just right click on it and then click on new file and then save it as my controller dot php okay so i will extend this my controller php file in all my controllers okay so let me just co copy this okay this one is my controller okay so here i have created a controller inside my core folder uh, which extends to code igniter controller okay so here this is the default controller it, it contains all the code igniter classes code igniter's uh, functions okay so i have extended this code igniter controller uh, for my my controller class okay so this my controller class i will be extending here instead of code igniter controller i will call my own controller which is my controller Again okay, now here you can see i have created a view called register so that whenever user whenever admin click on the admin register the function which gets called is admin register and the view inside the admin register is register that gets called okay so now we need to create a form for register okay, so for that i will come here Okay, and then I'll create an HR and then I will create a class of a row and then I will create one more class of column MD6 okay and then inside and then I will create one more view of six columns and then here inside the first view I will create one more do with a class of form group okay and then here i will create a label with a class of column md3 okay three columns label okay. and then control label class okay and then here i will type username okay and then i will create one more do with a class of column md9 okay so our css framework grid is of 12 columns so here for the 
12 columns layout here three columns I have used for level and the rest of the three rest of the nine columns I have used for my input text so I will create an input text box input echo form okay here form input okay so before that I have to open the form so for that I have to come here PHP echo form open okay welcome slash I will create a function called admin sign up okay so inside the welcome controller I will create admin sign up function uh, which gets executed whenever user click on the register button after entering the details for registration okay then here I will create a class as form horizontal okay so and then here at the end I will close the PHP form okay here echo form close okay so now okay here we need to inside this form input method we need to create an array to set the attributes okay first one is username okay name username and then second one is class class will be form control again okay, then placeholder username okay and here let me just refresh okay it's giving me an error as call to undefined function form open okay so here call to undefined function form open okay so here you can see inside this file i'm using form helper okay so all these are the helper classes of coordinator form open form close form input okay so for accessing these helpers form input form open form password okay, so there are different types of helpers available for us to create a form in coordinator okay so if we want to use these helpers then we need to use form helper inside our config auto load file okay, here inside this we need to use form okay yeah how much of our helpers we will be using in our project all those helpers we need we need to list inside this auto loaded php files helper section okay so along with this form i have already used url helper which i have told you in my last video and if apart from these helpers if you want to use any other then there is file helper as well okay now let us refresh the page okay now it's uh, not displaying me that error because i have fixed that by adding this form helper inside our auto loaded php file okay now it has uh, display now it's displaying me an input text okay so like this i will create a few more text boxes okay, so for that i'll just again go to register okay, and then i'll just copy this entire here okay, I will just copy this entire piece of code and then I will put it here okay, and second one is email okay and this one should be name should be email and placeholder will be email okay, now let's refresh 
okay now it is displaying me email text box okay now i will create one more uh, element of gender so for that i'll just do the same thing i'll just copy and i will paste it here and then i will change it to gender and for this i will use a select okay here select class of column lg of 9 okay and then name of role id this one this name will be gender okay here i'll create an option value select so i'll just copy and paste a couple of times i will make it as mail copy and I'll paste here and then female copy and i'll paste it here okay and then i will copy this again I'll copy and i'll paste it here then i will change it to role okay and then here the name will be role id and this one is admin co-admin okay so the values for these uh, roles drop down i will fetch it out from the database okay so i will create a table of roles in that i will store two records for one is for admin another one is co-admin and i will fetch those two records and then i will display those two records inside this drop down okay now let it be like this yeah, and then the next one is password and password again so i'll just copy and change it to password okay and here the name will be password okay so it should be a text box so for that i will just copy this i'll copy and i will okay let me just take this entire piece of code okay, i will copy this and then i will put it here and then i'll change it to password copy and put it here and then it should be password okay, and then i'll just copy this once again I'll put it here and password again and name will be conf pwd password again okay and now at the end i will create a button button of type submit okay, and then class btm primary okay, and then this will be register okay and then i will create an input create a link to go back okay to the home page here should be welcome and then here will be back and i'll just refresh and now you can see i have created these many form elements one is for username email gender role password and password again okay so when i click on this it will display me male and female click on this it will display me role admin and co-admin okay so these two records i will get it from the database table okay so now let me first create a table of two columns okay okay i have to give it a name as TBL roles okay okay yeah first column will be role id 
okay and then second will be the role name okay and this will be of character okay here yeah, i will set it as auto increment and i will make it as a primary key click ok and then i will save okay now i'll enter two records in this okay, i'll click on insert and then i will type admin and go admin okay and i'll just click on go now I added or inserted two records into roles. So now I will try to fetch these two records from this table, TBL roles, and I will display these two records inside this roles drop down. Okay, so for that I will go to my editor and I will create a model. So here I will come inside model. I will create a file. called queries dot php okay plus queries extends ci model okay so i have created a queries model which gets extends to ci model okay so i have created this queries model to interact with my database all the database interaction stuff i'll be going to write in this queries.php file okay, so now i will create a function inside this model file called public function get roles okay so with this function i will get all the roles from the tbl roles table this db get tbl roles okay and then i will use an if condition dollar roles num rows i will use a method num rows to check whether my table tbl rows have a record greater than zero or not if i have a records present inside my tbl rows table then it's going to return those records rows then it's going to return all the result okay now I have created a function inside my model with a name called get roles function so i need to go back to my controller and inside here i need to call this model this load model queries and then i have to call the function that i have created inside the inside my queries more queries model okay so rules okay and then all this queries and okay and this queries and then i have to call the function get rules okay okay and then let's save it okay and then print dollar rows okay so now here what i'm trying to do is here you can see inside my queries model uh, i will write all the stuff all the code that i'm going to uh, interact with my database with my database data okay, so here inside this queries.php model i have created a function with a name called get rules inside this get rules i have written the codes to get the get both of these records from my table tbl roles okay and i will fetch those two records from the tbl roles table with the help of this get roles function and i am calling this tbl uh, calling this get roles 
function inside my admin register right? admin register okay for that first i am loading the queries model and then i am calling the function that i have written inside my queries model get roles and whatever data that get roles method is going to return i am storing that data inside this roles variable and now i am trying to print those records on the screen so that i can view whether i am getting the correct record or not so now let's refresh it will give me an error that db okay so it's not able to identify db whatever i have written here inside my queries because i have not connected my college management system application with the database so for that i have to go to config folder and then i have to click on the database and then here i have to set my database credentials okay so uh, my host name is localhost and my username is root and the password i have not set any password for my database and my database name is college ms okay now let's just save it let's close it and now let's refresh the page now again it's displaying me the same message okay define property welcome db okay so here i have <coughs> set my database credentials but i have not you i have not called that library how to use that library as well okay so for that i will go to my auto load okay inside this auto load i will you i will call the database library okay so here inside this libraries i have i have i'm using different libraries in this project like database library then sessions library and then form validations library so all those libraries details i have to put inside this auto load.php before using that library in our project okay so now let me just refresh okay now it's returning me those two records that are present inside this table okay so now let's close this and now let's come back to our welcome controller and then let's delete it and now this variable holds the entire detail of those two records that are present inside my rules table and now i am passing these details inside my register view with the help of an array dollar rules let's copy here okay so now i have passed this data to my register view and now i will come to my register view where i will collect that data to display inside the drop down okay so for, for displaying the data inside the drop down here i have to do some tasks. okay so i will just write if if count of dollar rules okay if and then and if okay and then i will use a uh, for each okay just cut it okay put it here okay and here i will put a for each loop for each rules okay so this rules uh here i am passing from my welcome controller okay so here you can see this roles contains this entire data of roles and i am passing this roles data to my register view and here i am collecting that roles inside my register.php view okay so now dot roles as dollar role okay and then i need to end this for each by using and for each okay now you have for this value equal dollar 
role of gender okay, just copy and put it here let me delete it save it okay, so this this is not a gender this is a role name copy paste it here okay now let's refresh okay now it is playing me an error unexpected left it okay 960 okay i will not close the php tag let's just refresh okay now when i click on the role now you can see it's displaying me admin and co-admin now at this time this admin and co-admin records is coming from the database okay i'm fetching these admin and co-admin from the database and i'm displaying these two records inside this drop down whenever user, cl user click on this drop down okay so now okay, uh, now we have successfully fetched the two records okay now so let me just refresh and now i will click on this register now it will take me to the error it's displaying me for not for page not found because i have not set set this url inside my welcome controller I have to public function okay echo sign up okay now just save it and then refresh now you can see it will give me a message as sign up okay so now I'm rewriting the user to admin sign up function present inside my welcome okay now close it okay now I have to set my user validation form validation okay so for form validation how to use a form validation library because for that i have to do the same thing again in config in auto load inside libraries i have to use the form validation library form validation okay now just save it let's close it then this form validation then set underscore rules okay it takes three parameters one is the field name and the second one is the label that you want to display to the user and the third one is required okay so now before that i will just create one more table for storing the users details inside the table so for that i will create a table with a name called table users okay tbl users okay and the fields we want eight okay we want eight fields for this table Okay. okay the first field is user id and the second one is username the third one is college id okay. and the fourth one is email and then gender and then password and then conf pwd okay so now this one thing you need to remember okay so here all these fields that i'm creating uh, for this table all these field names should exactly match should exactly same with the fields name you have created while creating your form here you can see name equals to username okay so this name username should exactly match with the username that you are creating for this table and then email gender okay so for this email gender here you can see name equals to email and then gender name equals to gender okay so these are exactly same matching okay, and then role okay role id okay, so this role id is coming from this from the roles table okay so i have a field called roles id role id okay i have to create uh, i have to create one more 
okay here gender and the here it should be role id okay and then it should be password and then conf pwd okay. Con confirm password okay so here this role id feel exactly same with the name role id and then password should also get match name equals to password and name equals to conf password exactly these the name of these two fields should exactly same in the table okay and here it should it will be of type var care and then this will be of type var care and then role id will be of type integer and then gender will be of var care and then email will be of type var care college id will be of type integer username var care integer okay now okay I need to set the size okay okay here yeah. okay here yeah. the confirm password Okay, now I'll set auto increment well which will make this ID field as a primary key click on ok and now I'll click on save okay now I have created the users table for storing the details of users admin and co-admins okay, now let's come back to our form okay, now let's go to welcome okay like this I will create the validation rules for the rest of my fields okay username okay. this form violation set rules then username and this will be the label and the next one is email okay so i have to set the real uh, rules for each and every field that i have created in my in my form okay so how much ever fields i have created inside this form okay how much ever uh, fields I have created here in this form those many validations I have to set validation rules I have to set in my controller okay let's come here form horizontal okay okay now this should be email required okay and then third one is gender gender and then role gender gender okay role role okay and then okay it should be a role id okay password password and then conf pwd and then password again okay so this one extra I'll delete okay so all these username email gender role id password conf password should exactly match with the field name that you have created inside your form okay and these username email gender all these are the labels that gets displayed to the user uh, whenever user tries to submit the form without entering the data in the form okay now let's just use okay, just copy it here set error delimiters okay and then create a due with a class the class of text danger okay we'll close the due 
see it right, okay. And then if else if this form validation runs okay if i if uh, the user or the admin enter the details for each and every field in this form uh, while entering the details for this form then it will not display any error then it will display echo validation passed okay else it will display echo validation errors okay let's save it okay let's just refresh okay on line 39 okay here save it refresh okay now when i click on register Call to undefined method called code igniter form validation runs on line 40. Okay. Okay, it, I think it's a run. Okay, now let's just refresh. Okay, it's displaying a message validation passed, but it should not display like that uh, because uh, each and every field of this form is empty still it's displaying validation passed so now let's see what's the error okay this form validation set rules set rules okay okay here i to okay we come here and put this which code echo form error okay post the label username and then to put this Let's copy and okay. We can just copy in this and paste for each and every field email. Okay. To display the error in red color, and then this should be gender. Okay. And here it should be role ID. Okay. It should be password and then conf password. Okay, so let's just check. Okay, let's just refresh. Okay. okay, so all this name equals to whatever you are giving as a name, all this exactly should get matched with the values or the field names that you have created inside the database otherwise it will give you this kind of message this kind of error okay so here it's not returning me error messages properly okay so now let's just okay name username okay here it's like username email gender role id conf password okay Okay, now let's save it. Okay, so now let's refresh the page. And now I'm trying to submit the form without entering any of this data. So let's click on this register. Now it's displaying me different errors like username field is required, email field is required, gender, role, password, confirm, all this field is telling me to enter all these details. Okay, so it should display like this, all this errors i'm able to display because i have used this validation errors method okay so now let's 
Camera okay, so let's uh, okay, come to register and here placeholder. Okay, let's go back and refresh the page. Okay, let's come back to our welcome. Now let's try to enter the details. Like shake and I will enter the email okay, and then I'll select the gender and then role as admin and then I will enter the password. Okay, so this password should be field should be of type password. Let's come here and then change it to password okay and here also should be password let's just refresh and now let's enter the name and then email gender role and then password password and now let's click on register now you can see it's displaying a message validation pass because now i have entered all the details of the form and now let me just leave these two fields and when i click on this it will display me two messages as password field is required and confirm password field is required okay now let's come here okay. and then call the method okay this method i'm calling the same method i'm calling the same form whenever user tries to submit the form without entering the data okay now let me just refresh and when i click on this register i can see uh, instead of taking me to the next page and showing errors there it's displaying all the errors on uh, on the right side of each and every form element okay so this i'm able to achieve because here uh, inside this form i have used this form error and i have given styling as text danger so that's the reason why for each of these uh, form element i'm able to display the error on the right side of the form element okay so now okay so let's just go back to the welcome and here okay so i will still i will collect the data entire data form okay, so for before that I will, I will take the username okay, here I'll first take the data this input post okay okay so this line of code will return me the entire data that user is going to enter in the form okay so let me just show you pre tag copy and exit printer dollar data we okay, have save it okay now it will display me the data that i am going to enter inside this form admin then password okay now let me just click on register now you can see it's displaying me returning me the data that i have entered inside the form username email gender role password and password again okay so now let's just okay so this is the data that i have to send to the server sent to my database okay now let's just come here close it and then i want to encrypt the password yes okay, so let's for that data okay here i have to take the password information from the user this input post password i have to take the password from the user and then i have to encrypt it using the sha1 encrypting format okay 
password. Okay, here you can see this password is not encrypted, and our data contains data array uh, contains username, email, gender, role ID, password, and conf. Okay, so for this password, I am encrypting here into SH1 format both the password and confirm password. Okay, yeah, right here. Okay, now. Now I will load the model. This load. Okay, now let me just delete it. Just copy this and go back. Okay. Copy. Okay, I'll just paste it here. Save it. Okay, now you will see. Now the password and confirm password will be uh, encrypted. Okay, now you can see you know, both these fields gets encrypted to SHA1 format. Now uh, let me just delete it. Okay, and now I will load my model. Queries and I will call a method of queries register admin okay and then to this i'll pass the data okay so this register admin is the method of the function that i'll be creating inside the queries model okay very shortly okay so now let's just first create this method just copy and then come here public function okay and then paste it okay so i will create that method of registering or inserting the admin into the database return dollar this db insert okay into this i will pass the data data okay and i need to pass the data insert inside the table users okay yeah so i'm inserting the data that i'm collecting from the user with the help of the form inside the tbl users table okay so here i have created this method this method or the function will insert the data and if the insert if the data gets inserted then it will return a value of either one or zero okay suppose if the data gets inserted inside the table then it will return the value of one here inside this welcome controller okay so here inside this if condition i am checking whether the return value is zero or one okay if the data successfully gets inserted inside the table then i will be getting a value of one now if i got the value of one then i will display a message to the user using the session library this session set flash data okay and then message admin register successfully okay and then i will send the user to I will redirect the user to welcome controller welcome controllers admin register function okay so I will redirect the user to the same register form okay in else part I will give the message as fail to 
register admin save it okay in both the cases i will send or rewrite the user to the same page yeah i'll just uh, okay, so here it will give me an error okay it will give me an error as session okay so i have to use the session library inside my auto load.php the way i have used database in form elevation okay. session okay save it and then refresh okay now let's just first refresh our table okay so now you can see already two records gets inserted so first let me just go to sql and then truncate all these two records okay truncate table tbl users okay let's click on go okay now i don't have any record present inside my table okay so now let's just first check this right click on this okay so here the values for gender will be male and female and the values for rule will be okay so the value okay so here it should be role id okay okay the value information for both this for this role admin and co-admin is here is displaying admin and co-admin but it should be the role id because for storing the roles information inside my tbl roles table i have used a field called tbl uh, i have used a field called role id okay so inside this role id i will be storing the id of the role uh, for example i have given the id one for the admin role and i have given the id two for the co-admin okay so if i if you see this table okay so inside this table here you can see id one is for admin and id two is for co-admin okay and this id should get inserted inside this table's role id for this role id okay so i have to change it to role id okay now let's just refresh the page now you can see previously it was displaying admin and co-admin and now it's displaying the id of those roles okay so that's exactly what we wanted to go because we wanted to enter the id of admin and co-admin inside the tbl roles table so now let's just uh, enter the details mail and then admin and then password okay so now if at any point if i click on register now it will display me this message because i have not entered this password confirmation but the values for username and email gets removed but we have to avoid it for avoid it okay so now let me just come back and we need to use a use an attribute called value inside our inside our form input array okay need to use a attribute called value as set value as username okay the same thing i have to do for email as well here it should be email and gender rule okay so only these two okay now let's just refresh the page okay now let me just enter username email gender role now when i try to submit the form without entering the password again information and when i click on submit this username and email information will not go away will not get deleted okay see these two information yeah is present in the stick in the text box only because i have used this set value attribute to my form input array yeah now let's just select this 
gender role and then password password again and now when I click on register then it will it has not displayed or return any message like uh, admin, register, admin register successfully on the top of our form because I have not set that message on the view so but I am sure the data gets stored inside the table okay now you can see the user id 1 name college id 0 okay so the college id is set to 0 for this admin because this is the super admin okay and the co college, ID, college id will not be associated to the super admin college id will be associated to only co-admins okay so whenever we whenever co-admin gets registered at that time the college id will also get inserted for co-admin but for admin there won't be any college id okay, so here you can see since this is a, the role is co is the admin that's where the I, admin id is stored inside the table which is one okay now the password is encrypted you know let me just truncate the table once again truncate table tbl users okay now let's just click on ok and now let me come back to registers here at the top i want to display the message okay so for displaying the message to the user i have to come down and i have to create a php message okay if dollar error equals to dollar this session flash data message okay so you need to pass the same value that you have set inside this set flash data uh, method okay so this this key you need to use inside this if condition okay okay if and then and if okay and then here i need to create a div with a class of row okay and then i need to create a div with a class of column md6 Okay, and then again I need to I will create one more do with a class of alert alert dismissible alert dismissible and then alert success okay and then here I will create a PHP echo dollar error okay okay or let me just make it as message copy copy okay now just okay now i don't right now i don't have any record present inside my table because i have truncated that record of user and now I'll, i'm going to enter the record once again to check the message displayed at the top of this registration form yeah, okay, let's just you know, shake and then use uh, email and then gender role. Okay, and then, and then okay. Now I'm going to click on register, and now you can see the moment when I click on register, it has returned me a message: admin register successfully. Now when I click on this TBL roles, it will okay. So I will when I click on this tbl users it will display me one record and it has returned me a message uh, at the top of the form because i have included these styles here at the top of the registration form okay now i have successfully registered the admin uh, in our application okay so now let me go back to our home page okay so now we have added the admin and now 
we already know that there is only one admin for our application and the uh, and the rest of the users will be co-admin so now there is no need for me to display this admin register because all the co-admins are not going to register with this admin register button so admin will be going to create the co-admin inside the dashboard and co-admin will come and log in by using their credentials which admin will be going to create it uh, by coming here on this admin login button or uh, on this home page okay so what i will do is i will just uh, hide this button from being displayed to the user okay, so for that i need to check whether admin is registered or not whether a record with the role id of one is present inside the table or not if present then i will hide this button if not present that means if admin is not registered so far then um, then i will keep this button okay so now let me just come back and i will click on this queries i will create a uh, one more function inside our queries public function called check admin exist okay and create check admin this db var okay i will use a var clause where i will where i will use check whether the role id or the admin is present in our table or not okay if our admin is present then i will get the details okay i'll check if the admin is present in our table okay that means if the admin is registered then okay CSK admin num rows is greater than zero then I will return dollar CSK admin of num rows okay so here what I am doing is I am checking whether the role ID equals to one which is the role id for the admin is present inside the table if it is present that means admins has admin is registered okay or admin is present or admin is already uh, registered to our application okay so if admin has registered then i will get the number of rows okay uh, if the number if the admin is present then it will return a value of one and that i will take and I will come to my welcome and here inside this welcome control controller I will call that function okay I will call uh, copy and I will paste it here and then I will change it to home okay and then I will copy this and I will put it here I'm I'm calling the check admin exist function and I will change it to check admin exist okay and then I will copy this and I will pass this here copy and pass this here okay now I have uh, now it has this uh, now this check admin exist function is return a value of one because we have already admin present inside the table that's why it will return a value of one if admin record will not be present inside the table that means admin has not registered so far so it will return a value of zero now it will return a value of one so what i will do is i have passed the value of one to my home view and i will come inside my home view and here i will check okay here Okay, inside this row, I'll check if if 
count of count of this admin is present and if okay then only i will display this message okay if the value of one if the um, if it returns a value of one that i am passing to my view okay then only i will display admin register button okay in else part okay it should be else okay and it will be end if okay and in end if i will i will not display anything okay now now when i refresh you will notice this admin register will uh, admin register button will will be hidden okay now let me just come here and go dollar chk and then exit okay now it's returning a value of one and that one value i'm passing to my home view and here i'm passing that view okay okay inside home view i'm collecting that value okay okay if okay uh, it has to be reverse actually okay so it has to be here if the value of one if it will return a value of one that means admin is present inside the database admin is already registered then uh, i will not display the button in other case i will display the button okay so now i will refresh now you will no longer see the admin register button present in my home page okay so now you will see only admin login button okay so uh, so if i truncate the record truncate table tbl users okay okay now i don't have any record in my users table and now when i refresh the page we'll see that again that button starts appearing because i don't have any record of admin okay so now i will add the admin uh, okay gender role and then password okay when i click on register then you can see admin gets added into the table and when i go to my home page you'll notice now we don't have any admin register button okay so this is uh, everything about developing the functionality of registering an admin into our college management system okay so now we have successfully register the admin to our application because now then in the next video what we will do uh, we will allow the admin to log in to our application and i will take the admin to my dashboard okay so once the admin gets entered into the dashboard then admin can start creating the colleges and creating the admins co-admins for each and every colleges okay so that we will be discussing in the next videos okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video and if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching